Hey, Dave. Hey, Brian. How you doing, man? You look nice and safe there. I'm safe and secure. Snug as a bug. You know, it's a good week to be safe because it's PPE week at Wild Sales. Woo! Hey, Dave. Safety's no joke. That's right, Brian. That's why we're going to talk about some great safety products we got today. We got Dwayne Summers from the factory Cementex, and we got a short video. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, it's going to be a good one, Dave. Dwayne's going to go over the most popular tools that Cementex sells, the thousand volt rated tools, how to buy them, some tips on how to buy them and pick them out, what the best ones are, yeah. and what the, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? What the color coding means because there's two colors, and also how to test and calibrate to make sure that your tools are in good shape when you get out on the job. Yep, that's great, that's, and that's important too, because you can have the tools and it not be secure when you're using them and you're defeating the purpose of the product. Yeah, so lots of good little tips. Watch the video. Wild Sales presents Cementex. See, right on the sign, Cementex Safety Tool Specialist. Check it out. We got a great catalog. They've got a great website, cementexusa.com. You can get everything you need there. But first, we got a special guest. Dave, who do we got today? We got Cementex Dwayne Summers from the factory here to talk about some of the products here, tell you what we have, remind you what we have, give you a little refresher. Our new catalog is out. Hopefully most of you have it. If you haven't seen it or don't have it, let us know and we'll get you a copy of the new catalog. So we'll get right into it and I'll ask Dwayne a couple questions. To start off, uh, we've got, um, as you see on the picture there, a bunch of thousand volt rated tools and we show them separately and in a kit. Dwayne, on all the, all the tools that you see there, can, can customers order them individually or do they have to order kits? They can order them individually. They can even order just a certain socket size individually. So if they lose that socket or it breaks or something like that, they could actually order just the socket. So if a guy's got a, a tool kit from us already and one of the wrenches or one of the things breaks, he can replace it with a newer one then? Yes, he can. And if it's something that he's bought recently as well, it'll have a, a lifetime warranty on the mechanics of it. Okay. So, so there's that as well. So if he can send that in, we can RMA it and send him a brand new one. And real quickly, just on to just so the guys know, on the on the, the the color of the handle, we have to we've got an orange color, and under that's yellow. Real quickly, can we touch base on what that means, real quick? Certainly, the the yellow underneath is actually the insulation that protects you from electrical shock or electrocution itself. And then what we do is we take and we set we dip it a second time with the orange, and the orange is actually a protective coating for the yellow. So as you can use that wrench or uh, torque wrench, any of, the, any of the tools that are dipped this way, you can use them as long as that yellow is not showing through the orange. So once the yellow shows through, is that when you have to retire the tool? Yes, that's when it should be taken out of service because you don't know to what extent it has been compromised. And then real quickly before we move off of tools here, is there, do tools have to be recalibrated or tested or how do we do that? Um, it, it depends. A lot of companies have the rule that it, they should follow OSHA's rule. OSHA's new rule and standard is they, they should be retested every three years. Okay. Now on your torque wrenches, they should be calibrated every year or every 5,000 turns. Oh, okay. Uh, great. Great to know. Great to know. How do people get that, uh, the recalibration done? Uh, they can they can actually go on our website. There's a there's a link that you can click on the front page, and it it'll sh pop up a a a page that you fill out. So it should be uh, product yeah, test right there. there you go. Yeah, right there. right there. Yep. And then you can you can do your torque wrench recalibration or your your certif recertification and testing. Right there, you fill that in, send it in to us. We will test it for a fee and turn around and send it back to you. Great, fantastic. Brian, what's the next slide we got up there? Dave, we got a little bit on the interchangeable tools here. You can see these are like our sockets and torque wrenches, just as Dwayne was mentioning. So we're not going through all the tools, but Dwayne, uh, the, some of the more popular tools there are, are probably some of the cutting tools, the wire snips, the lineman pliers, and maybe some wrenches. Are those some of the top items along with screwdrivers? Yeah, the, the cutters, the, the cutting tools, especially our new, we have a new um, alignment out. 
It's really nice. It, it cuts all the way up to uh, number two solid and wow. it, it'll, it'll cut that flush. So a lot of the times what they do is they'll use a regular set of linemen and you, you're getting something that's a larger wire. It actually crushes down and it, it crimps it. Well, this actually cuts through because it has two crescent moon ends that, that meet and it just cuts nice and flush. So you get a nice cut. So when you land it on the lug, you're not dealing with an ob a, a weird end there or something. Yeah, or you don't even have to go and use another tool to recut it once you cut it the first time, which is really, it saves time. We're all looking about saving time. And yes, then it does give you an easy, easy way to, to slide it in and, and crimp it under the lug or crimp or slide it in and, and put it into the panel where it's supposed to go. Hey, so looking at the, the screen we got up here, screwdriver. So if a customer's looking to get involved in screwdrivers, what, what would be maybe this first step? Would he, would he want to buy just one or two, or would it be nice to buy a, a kit where he's got a fold-out pouch where he's got a number of different sizes? What do you suggest on something like that? Uh, it really all depends on what their job is and what they're doing. A lot of the meter guys are, are actually doing what we call as a mix and match. So they're, they're creating their own. So they've got the two or three nut drivers that they need, uh, an, Allen, <clears throat> an Allen head, because there's always like an Allen head that they need to, to get access. Mm -hmm. or or uh, and then always like your number two Phillips and number two flathead like it seems there's always like a nice mitch and miss and mix and match for them that they need oh so that's great so then they instead of just buying they could certainly buy the the, the roll kit that's already available but if he had a special he wanted two and three of each one of them he could make up his own that's great to know yes yep keeping your gloves in Hey, Dave. We're hey, back. Hey, we're back from a great video. What do you think? That was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. Dwayne's a good guy. Knows a lot about the product. And we've got another one with Dwayne that's going to be really interesting. That's right. We got the insulated rubber gloves coming up and a how-to and how to keep them in compliance with all the rules, how to keep the testing going and what you need to do and all that stuff and where you get the testing done. And we can do that for you and help you with that. So some real good stuff coming up. That sounds fantastic. All right, Brian. See you I got there. See you, Dave. It's time. See you later. Stay safe.